Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me today is Steve Martin. Surprise, surprise. And Steve is going to show us some very cool techniques for editing in Final Cut Pro 10, correct? Yes, we're going to take an interview, which is a common uh, subject okay. for documentaries and new shows, reality programs, and then we're going to overcut it with B-roll using three-point editing. Three-point editing. Right, okay. I know it sounds kind of fancy because, you know, what's that? Uh, but actually, three-point editing goes way back to the introduction of videotape when Ampex invented videotape. That's how far it goes back. Well, uh, now, now that, yeah. It's a little history okay. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but you're going to show us how to do it in Final Cut Pro yeah, 10. Yeah. So not yeah. just dragging in or hitting W or E, but actually establishing specific points where you want the edit to exactly. happen. Exactly. So let's All right, take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we have an interview. And the thing about cutting an interview, you want to go through it and, and just end up with the best bits. So what I've done is I've cut a lot of this, this, this down. And of course, I've got some gaps in here. And that's to create some conversational kind of timing to make it sound natural. I've okay. got some gap, got gaps in there. And, and obviously, you don't want to see those gaps when okay. uh, you're uh, overcutting. So you've already laid down your interview snippets as the primary storyline with some gaps. So you create a good t overall timing of the, the words that are being said. Exactly. Okay. In fact, at the stage of the interview cutting, it's, it's actually better to not focus on picture, but focus on the sound. Just what, what's being said. What's being said. Okay. So what we need to do is, is, is kind of uh, cut some material over what he's saying to enforce what he's reinforce what he's okay. saying. So, Show what he's talking about. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my down arrow, move to the first gap, and I'm gonna press I to mark an end point. Okay. Or mark or the beginning of the range. And I'm gonna mark an out point on the fly. I'm gonna hit space bar and when I want when I want to go out, I'm gonna press O. Based on what you hear. Mm -hmm. The air is very dynamic. Okay, so, that's so dynamic, boom. So he said very dynamic and that's so you want something to be showing while he says very dynamic. Right. You hit O and you've got a range uh, that defines it. In and out points established mm -hmm. in the timeline. Okay. Actually, two points. You have an in and out. That's two of the three points. Two of the, oh, you're already done two. Exactly. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a, a clip. In this case, I really love this shot. In fact, uh, you shot this with your nice little, I did. Slide, your nice little 70 in your slider, homemade yes. slider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim just, I want, that's just as a, the sun is peeking through the branches there, and I'm going to press. I to mark an endpoint. Okay, so you want that clip to start I want right on right that point. Right on that frame. Uh -huh. Now I don't need to set an out point on the clip in the media browser because the out point's already set in the timeline. It's the uh, math is going to be that's a three points. It's a three okay, points. so it's just going to use those three points. It's going to use as much of the clip of the tree as is necessary to fill that to fill that range. That range. Right. Okay. So we're going to just do a simple connect edit. I mean, that's uh, this little button here. You can use Q. But as soon as I click that button, notice it puts it above our clips and it perfectly matched yes. that selection. Yep. Okay. So let's do one more. Can you play it? Oh yeah, See? sure, why not? Let's play it. Okay. All right. So let's do one more, a variation on a theme, as okay. it were. We're gonna do a what's called, what's called a back timed edit. Back timed it's edit. It's a three point edit, but you backwards. A backwards okay now that sounds complicated. Right, you'll see. So I'm gonna go up arrow to that out point. We want to be right there at that out point. We're gonna right. press I to mark an endpoint. Okay. And we'll, we're going to play listening for we want to go out, and then press O when we hear the phrase that he finishes that we want to enclose. Okay. A lot of great wines come from here. This a lot of great wines come from here. Boom. A lot wow. of great wines come from here. So just like before, you established in and out points, two of the three, two of the three. in your timeline. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go to the media browser, and we're going to look for a frame. And this time, I'm not interested where the shot comes in. I'm more interested when the, where the shot comes out. Where it stops. So, so okay. Um, we're pan the canvas camera's panning here. We want to kind of end right about here where we look towards towards the sky. Yeah, towards the sky and see those grapes. So okay. Exactly. So instead of seeing uh, setting an out point an in point, we're gonna set an out point. So you just tap O. 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 Okay. And what's gonna happen is the out point in the media browser is gonna be aligned with the out point in the timeline. In the timeline. And it's gonna back time it in so we don't need to set an in point okay. in the uh, in the clip on the media browser. So it's going to reverse, reversing it into so, the... And the there. assumption is you have enough media for that to work, that, right? And you if you don't, well, Final Cut will tell you. It'll just say, hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah not okay. a, exactly. So okay. in this case, we're just going to, we're going to use a keyboard shortcut this time by pressing Q. And it's done. Yeah, and wow. you, can, you can look, and if you look here, as I skim over at the out point of that clip is the exact out point that we had in the media browser. Yep. Right? So let's play it back, see how it looks. Very dynamic. A lot of Actually, I did it wrong on purpose. 
Actually, no, it wasn't on purpose. It was a mistake. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what? Because I, right. I left out something very important. Oh. To do a back oh, time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? To do, what? A, ba to do a back time dead, I just said press Q. You said Q just did what you did no, before. No, no. A Q will do a front time dead from the end point. To do oh, a back time dead, you okay. have to add a modifier key. Okay. Shift Q. Shift Q. So okay. shift Q. So okay, now yeah. that should be. That should be now right. it ends on the right frame. Now it ends okay. on the right frame. Okay. So we can play it. And it's very dynamic. A lot of great lines come from this property. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now one, one, myself. one question, because I, I noticed when you were playing that first clip of the trees, there was some audio. I can actually see there's some audio as part of that. The reason there's audio in the clip is prior to the edit, you'll look at this, what's called the edit pop-up. It's set for all. Now, if you wanted just the video, you would have to set video only before you before press doing Q, the edit point. and then you okay. only get video. But okay. this is easy to fix after the fact. If you don't want that audio there, you have two choices. One, you can just grab the volume bar and just bring it all the way down, or you can right-click on the clip and choose break apart. Excuse me, detach audio or detach items. So it breaks it apart and puts it below. Right. Okay. And then now you can just leave it there or delete it or delete. altogether. Ah, okay. okay. So, so now you get rid of that. Yeah. Exactly. I actually like leaving it there because then it gives me some opportunity if I want to expand it into the next shot to create overlap. Yeah. See what's really nice here because there's no audio for this volume. I'm going to create con audio continuity through the two Between shots. It. Right. I've now expanded it through that and shot. And often on those B-roll shots, you do want some audio because it just makes it more real to hear some of that even though you've got some talking as long as it's low, but you can adjust it very easily. Yeah, and if you listen to it, it again, it creates continuity. Yeah, catch this. The air is very dynamic. A lot of yep. So you've got this sort of just background ambient sound throughout the clips. Exactly. Fantastic. So um, I want to learn more. Maybe you want to learn more about how to do sort of more advanced Fonica Pro 10 editing techniques. And I've already seen your your training, Fonica Pro 10 training, but you have something else. Yes. It just so happens we're working on an advanced trimming tutorial that covers you know how to tr how to edit a dialogue scene, how to edit a documentary, a promo, how to edit a commercial. And that'll be, a, it should be available now at RippleTraining.com. It'll really show you how to uh, just take Final Cut Pro 10 to the next level. Cool. So check out RippleTraining.com for uh, core training on Final Cut in Motion and advanced training and a bunch of free stuff. We give away free effects free every week. Every you week, just yeah. follow, follow on Twitter, but check out RippleTraining.com. Steve, thank you. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.